friends welcome to tech hunter for you in this video i will give you a quick review of windows developer preview if you want to download it there is a link in my description okay and um, install it by windows 7 usb tool yes it will support it and uh, don't waste your dvd by burning it in okay um as you see there is a uh, ribbon tool over there and uh, there is a quick link to cut move copy paste delete rename actually you already know it huh? and um, if you want to mount an iso image you can mount it you don't have to install a third party software so you can directly mount it directly burn to a disk and um, you have a new task manager app history startup user you can uh, change that startup app if you want enable disable it you have all service stop and running applications actually i like it you know and um, yeah there is a no 3d flip if you type we are windows tab there is a no 3d flip in this and um, there is a whole new start if you click on start button you get an metro ui a whole new feeling like a uh, windows phone 7 um actually it is more useful if you have a touch interface if you have a touch device multi touch device uh let us look at ie you can see that the address bar is below it is it is very useful if you have uh, features uh, it is installed in a tablet you can type from your thumb you know and uh, let's go to another actually i like this uh, facebook tab to it let's see on facebook profile friends this is his news feed and all children games i detail zero gravity and you know one two three if you have kids you can use it one you can also touch and type you know touch and draw for your device uh if you install any app it will show in this section like i install camtasia studio vlc chrome etc and if you want to go to desktop and click here and um, actually this control panel is very good very neat and clean more settings it will switch back to it you can personalize by changing your picture and this all this sort of things on and off so this is it if you want to install it don't use as your as it your uh, primary os use it as your secondary os make uh, install it in your another drive you know and um, okay thank you